A city alive with the spirit of excitement and a stadium brimming with anticipation. The build-up has been intense and now we just can't wait for it all to begin. It's anyone's guess though, which team will come out on top? All the drama next here on EA TV. And hello from the Heldenstadt, as it's known, the city of heroes. The venue is the Red Bull Arena. I'm your match commentator, Derek Ray, and sitting alongside me, the former Arsenal, West Ham and Coventry midfield player, Stuart Robson. And everyone here on tenterhooks, you'd have to say, with good reason. It's RB Leipzig up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek, as always. The scene is set, two good teams, a great playing surface and a vibrant atmosphere has all the ingredients for a really exciting game. Benjamin Sheshko. Nice weight on the pass. And with that, the attack fizzles out. And let's have a look at the starting 11 for Leipzig. Well, it's a fairly standard 4-4-2, which you don't see that often, but it does have its strength, particularly with the front two they've got playing today. They're both good players. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Luca Digne plays with Matty Cash in the fullback positions. John McGinn plays alongside Douglas Luis in central midfield. And it's two strikers up front who'll look to provide the goal scoring threat. Is it going to be? There it is! The opening goal of this match. And what a start they've made! Well, just look at this again. It's a great finish. He just caresses the ball beyond the goalkeeper. It's a lovely goal. Now back underway, and 1-0 it is. Let's see what happens next. Look at Dinia. Matty Cash. Now with Diaby. John McGinn. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. Diaby. Cash. And a chance to whip it in here. goodness you've really got to praise the defending that was top notch Ikoma Luis Openda Schlager and Leipzig finding space on the flank doing well to keep possession nicely blocked nicely timed tackle Rogers, Musa Diaby, just the challenge that was required. Haidara, plenty of support here, but really sticking to the task defensively. Good example of pressing without the ball. Could really get at the opposition. An alert piece of defending. It will be a goal kick here. Rogers. Ollie Watkins. Here's Bailey. And a good challenge to bring that attack to an end. Good ball over the top. He's in behind. And a goal! He's doubled his total for the day in superb scoring form.
Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway once more, 2-0 the lead here. Rogers. And a timely intervention. Luca Dean. It's still there for him. Really big chance. And there it is. Still life left in this game. And they have the momentum now. Well, here it is again, and it's really poor defending. They just don't show enough urgency to get tight or make a block, which is why the ball's ended up in the back of their net. Well, underway again. It's a narrow 2-1 lead as things stand. Danny Olmo. Aydara and Bailey top class defending well the half time interval is fast approaching it's Leipzig leading here Stuart your overall take well it's been a good watch so far both sides have tried to play on the front foot but they do look more threatening in the attacking areas. And in my view, they deserve to be in front. The referee has decided there will be just one minute of added time. <laughs> Referee's whistle. That concludes the first half here at the Red Bull Arena. I think most fans would be pretty happy with this man's display so far. Well, it's been an incredible performance from him. Clearly the difference between the two sides. Obviously the goals, but his movement too. He's causing the back line all sorts of headaches. He'll no doubt be desperate to grab the hat-trick now. And so the ball is moving again here with Leipzig looking to build on a largely positive first half performance. Well, that's really strong play to keep hold of the ball. John McGinn. Realising that it might be opening up on the opposite flank. Pau Torres. Bailey. Nicotine. Well, they stopped them in their tracks. And options in the centre. And pull back. Oh, commanding goalkeeping. And a substitution in the offing. Short corner taken. That's a nice looking ball. A oh, splendid header, but a fine save. Haidara. On the ball, Schlager. And Leipzig in a position of menace. And Wies. And making his move inside. But nothing comes of it. Good defending it was. Really doing a fine job of protecting the ball. Will he find the net? And a goal! They've added to the lead. Much needed security. Well, just look at his strength here. He holds off the challenge, he keeps his balance, and he finds the back of the net. It's a wonderful goal. 
Well, it's going to be difficult for Unai Emery and his team now. Just look at his face. He's absolutely furious. So they get the ball moving again. 3-1 the scoreline here. What's going to happen next? So a half an hour remaining. Great strong tackle. Throw in forthcoming. Substitution then. Let's see how it affects the match. And using his strength to shield the ball. The attack continues. They're making considerable progress. Out of play then for a Villa throw in. Going well. An alert piece of defending. Can they do something positive on the counter attack? Well, they keep passing away. But then the commentator's curse comes into play. Douglas Luiz. Diaby. Haidara. 20 minutes to go. Well, nicely cut out. Now, what can they do with the ball? Diaby. Dangerous ball. Oh, good work by the keeper. So, a personnel change then. Short corner favourite. Torres. And the cross into the middle. Oh, disappointing clearance. Well, that's a sad end to the attack. Simons. Chance maybe to use their counter-attacking ability to good effect. Can they keep it going? Oh, great defending. Well, the fans are going mad here. They think that was a penalty. Simons. Genuine chance. A vital piece of last ditch defending. Tielemans. Here's Matty Cash. Moussa Diaby. Diaby. Chance to play it in. Well read to put an end to that attack. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Can they use their pace? And defending as a unit. Watkins. On to Diaby. What about the stoppage time situation? Two minutes the word. Pau Torres. And space to cross it. And he clears it out of harm's way. And that will be all for this game. The referee blowing the whistle. And Aston Villa have to digest the taste of defeat. Well, Derek, they were certainly off the pace today. Beaten to the board in too many key areas. They need to refocus now and perform better next time out. This performance in this particular game will have impressed many people, Stuart. Well, he gave that back line a torrid time, didn't he? He was far too sharp for them, always looking to play on the shoulder, took his goals well too. Clearly the difference maker today.